Hey, good evening. Today we continue our Bible study reading of Mark chapter 5, verses 35 through 43, and it reads as follows. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told them, don't be afraid. Just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion. With people crying and wailing loudly, he went and said to them, Why all this commotion and wailing? The child is not dead but asleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were, were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha Kahom, which means little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years old. At this they were completely astonished. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. Amen. Now, just to give you a little background, this is after the woman had touched the hem of his cloak. He was still walking in Jairus' house, who was a leader at the synagogue, who said his daughter was dying, and he had performed one miracle en route. So it says in verse 36, while Jesus was still speaking, he was still speaking to one, the woman probably, who had left and his disciples in the crowd because he had asked who had touched him and the woman came up and told him, and he told her to go in peace and be freed from your suffering. But remember, the disciples were probably asking some questions or wondering, and the crowd was probably amazed and wondering. I know they were amazed and wondering, and he was probably telling them on his way to the situation, because remember, Jesus followed Jairus. Jesus had no doubts that nothing was going to stop him, but on the way, Somebody else had great faith, and he recognized it, and that is what kept them going, and you'll notice when he tells him to believe. So, he says, while Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader, they came and got him at first. Your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother to teach her anymore? Well, first of all, they came with the news that his daughter was dead. Okay. And then they said, why bother the teacher anymore? Haha, <laughs> why not bother the teacher? If you know who he is and you have faith, you can bother him. And it is not a bother to him because when we do rest, if we believe, we are all sleep in Christ. And guess who this was? This was Christ. So overhearing what they said, Jesus told them, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, just believe. And Jairus, who was a synagogue leader now, remember, he had humbled himself and probably made some of his peers angry, had just seen a woman of great faith who was bleeding for 12 years be healed just from touching the hem of his cloak. And what did Jesus say to him? Don't be afraid, just believe. In other words, he said, if you know who I am, don't worry. I have you at all times. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Now remember, they all got to see him be transformed or have everything. They saw Jesus change. Now, when they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. They were hurting. They were saddened because the young lady had died, but they didn't have faith. They didn't know of Jesus' abilities. They didn't see what Jairus had just seen. So he went in and said to them, why all the commotion and wailing? This is Jesus talking. The child is not dead, but asleep. Remember I said we are all asleep in Christ when we die. Who's better to wake you up? Who is going to wake you up? He is going to call us. But they laughed at him. Got to quit laughing at Jesus. You'll be like Sarah. 
After he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and disciples who were with him. Why did Jesus put them out? Because they didn't have faith. More than likely, that is why he put them out, because they didn't have faith, so there was no need for them to be there. And he went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha, come. Which means, little girl, I say to you, get up. Uh-oh. Jesus told her to get up. Devil, Satan, demons, get out. Rebuke. Go away. And everything listens to the Lord. And what happened? Immediately, the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years old. At this, they were completely astonished. And then Jesus gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. Once again, the Lord has done some work with faith. As it said before, he told them, don't be afraid, just believe. If you want to get through a struggle with the Lord, if you want to get through a problem that involves the Lord, don't be afraid, just believe. Amen.